Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And as you see from the title and the picture and everything else we got going on here, straight from the motherland, you know, old country, Robert Lewis's Tree Mixture, 19th Street, James Street, 19 St. James Street, London. It was founded in 1787. Uh, I've seen a lot of you guys in the YTBC, you know, chooching on this guy, you know, this particular company blend and I wanted to give it a go you know uh, I can smell it right through the can uh, that smokiness is coming through now you saw what happened with my last tin opening it, there was no hiss or anything because the can was all dented and yes again this one came all banged up so smelling it through the can I'm hoping that there's still it's still pressurized so let's give it a go we'll see I don't know There was a hiss. Vacuum suction. We on. Ooh, beautiful. And this is my first impressions. Tin opening and taking a look in a gander at this here tobacco. It's about 90 some degrees today. I got all the tobacco stuck to the lid as usual. Don't want to lose any of this good stuff here. Very moist. I was surprised the way, you know, the way, uh, can't talk with a pipe in my mouth. I was surprised the way that tin was banged up. I was afraid I was going to have another, have a, you know, another rehydration issue. But, uh, we're looking good. And they use, with Robert Lewis, he uses, looks like a plasticky type of, uh, cover here. It feels like plastic. Unlike Peterson blends and a lot of the other ones, they just use, you know, straight up cord and a little white piece of cardboard. And I felt a lot of moisture on this here thing. And it's not overly moist. It felt a little wet when I first picked it up, this here plastic thing. It's quite interesting. So let's see here. All right, well, I'll work on that later. Here's the tobacco looks like nice. Ooh, you know, it has a different aroma than the usual. Uh, I don't know what's in this, and it doesn't tell you on the back. So, and you can see a nice black and gold colors going on there. Ooh, mm. such a fine, like there's that, just a little hint of that smokiness there. Not, and there's something else there. There's a sweetness there. Yeah, I don't know what the topping is, but uh, a little bit of sugariness going on on some of the tobacco. See like little white sugar crystals. All right, so we're gonna just nice ribbon cut, and I love I love ribbon cut. It works so well for me in my pipes. Every once in a while, I might get plugged if I overstuff it. But. All right, let's. Uh, Give this a try, shall we? No drying time needed. Drying time? I'm the captain. Tongue bite? Nah. Only time I really get tongue bite is if I uh, do like a pipe back to back. Like do this and then right after, you know, take like a five minute break, refill the bowl and hit it again. Yeah, then, then I get, my tongue gets a little, uh, little bitey. That's a treat. I've been smoking the uh, Peterson's uh, Sherlock Holmes blend. Now I'm back to this. You know, I went Vulcan blend and then uh, Sherlock Holmes blend, Sherlock Holmes tamper. Mm -hmm. I think we got it. Mm. Well, thanks. 
hard to tell from this angle if you guys can see me over Hugo. Because <laughs> uh, I got, I don't have the. Uh, this, I just record on my phone, so. And I don't have it switched around to where I can see myself. I'm not sure if the camera, when you have it like that, is a better quality than the, than just facing the, other, the opposite. You know, I don't know. But um, mm, yeah. What can I say about this here? The back though. It's worth every penny. Right off the bat. First chooch. Why? Because it tastes real damn good to me. <laughs> so, I really tend to not really do, uh, you know, too many different blends nowadays. I kind of just, as you know, just stick to the ones I really enjoy, which is my Sherlock Holmes blend that my that's my particular go-to. Everybody's got a go-to. Some people go to Captain Black. You know, some people do, you know, the over the OTC blends. I've tried them. But, uh, I find that I always was looking for what I liked in the years since Sherlock Holmes. I seem to have always compared that to, you know, to stuff. Now, when it comes to my smoky Latakia blends and these Vulcan blends and uh, whatever these, or this one is considered, I guess, a uh, English mixture, I guess. I like that smokiness, so I like from time to time to have that campfire fire smokiness. So, on that note, is there a particular blend that I go to for this? As of now... In my smoking experience, no. Not yet. I haven't found it. You know, I tried, uh, what was it? Several times I smoked the Peterson's uh, Vulcan blend, and then I tried that, uh, what was it, the, the old Dublin. That one was decent, too. I've had Rat Rays, uh, accounting mixture because of, uh, supposedly, Peter Cushion, the famous British... Van Helsing and Dr. Frankenstein uh, used to smoke it, supposedly. Who the hell knows, right? So I bought it on a whim. Hey, if you want to look on my channel, that review is on there as well. But yeah. Mm -hmm. I like these smoky, smoky blends. Now this one, like I said, had an interesting aroma. And it still does. I mean, that, that smokiness is still there on, the, I believe, on the smoke. See, that's what I'm enjoying. I don't know what, if it's the Latakia or Parique, whatever the hell's in it. I, I'm not really schooled <laughs> too good on that, which gives it the smoke, I think, you know. Yeah. Technical difficulties. Hey, what are you going to do? So, I don't even know where I was. Um, but yeah, the smokiness or whatever that's that's in, in here, it's staying on the aroma. You know, it's not like when you first smell it in the tin and then it burns off and you really only maybe get a hint of it every once in a while. Mm-hmm. I give it a day. I like it. So, you know, it's a little bit more on a pricey end for, for my taste, you know. But uh, when you find something that's really good quality tobacco, it's kind of like, hey, smoke what you like, as we all say. If you can, right? So, I will definitely, definitely probably put this on my rotation for the smoky blends, you know, in between Vulcan, uh, Peterson and the old Dublin by Peterson because I'm not I really haven't had a go-to uh, like I said with that but my regular everyday smoke that I really re always reach for is, is that Peterson blend so I'm going to keep that on uh, also to know I also picked up another tin because I seen it I had it you know on smoking pipes I had to get it because there was a, the, the, the Bill Bailey birthday blend 
So if you haven't checked out that review, check out my birthday blend review <laughs> on uh, back in May uh, on the channel. And uh, that blend was really good. I enjoyed it. And so I got it again. So be prepared. Next May, on my birthday, I'll be cracking open another tin of it. I acquired another one. So maybe I'll just do that year to year <laughs> as long as I keep making it, right? So, um, I don't want to keep you guys any more longer than, than whatever. So, thanks for coming along for this initial review of uh, the Tree Blend by Robert Lewis. So, for me and the first mate, Hugo, stay cool. It's a hot one. And remember, let's set sail.